I first heard about it coming back, the excitement to be a part of something spikes, but also had my skepticism and just my eye open for what it actually may be so I don't get my heart broken. My name is Chad Foreman. Um, I'm one of the original founders of kind of Fallen and Black Box from back in the day. Um, I helped start Black Box with Jamie Thomas in 1999. Jamie and I grew up together as kids in Alabama. Um, we started Mystery Fallen Slave, you know, um, through Black Box, which was an amazing time. Um, I have such a passion for Fallen and a love for Fallen, just from being so involved with it from day one and putting all the original writers on and building the team, shooting catalogs, shooting ads, going on tours that really uh, shaped who I was at that time as a skateboarder from Alabama and moving into the professional side of my business life in the skateboarding industry. So I originally got on Fallen um, when I remember living, living with all my friends at the Hot Wax House. And at the time I skated for Circa. And when Jamie left Circa to start Fallen, I got one package of all black shoes just tons of black shoes, and then I skated those things all the way until my contract ran up, and then I got to skate in Fallen's. The shoes were incredible, and to break them in, I ran them over with my car, and they were just, they were bulletproof, so I skated them for a long time, shot my first Fallen ad on them, uh, tray flip nose blunt, the Trenton rail, and that was in the first pair of Fallen's that I skated. When I was First, basically getting into the industry, like maybe had just gotten on zero. Fallen was in, in the works. It was the original team. It was Jamie, it was uh, Harmony, Billy Marks, and uh, John Alley. And I was just really hyped on the way that looked. It kind of resembled um, zero a little bit. That was kind of an attraction. And I think just over time, wearing the shoes and then getting super stoked on how they skated. And, you know, I think that's where I just belong. I was there before Chris and Tommy, okay? <laughs> I voted these motherfuckers on. Fucking great watching it become what it did. And it was really exciting, really new and fun. Right and I, I don't want to say my prime, but it was like right when I was doing shit, a lot of it, and then it just all made sense. and it was yeah, well, I think it was a big part of skating for a while. Like, put out a fucking good video, and it was a legit company. I think the thing that sticks out the most about the original Fallen is just that it was unique in its own way because, like, I felt like it had a prestige to it, you know? Like, when you saw the ads, like, they looked so sick, and you just felt that, like, vibe, and, um, Rise with the Fallen kind of created like, you know, like an underdog outlook and made people feel like they're connecting, you know, and I felt, you know, connected. And I think that was a big thing was like everybody feeling like, you know, we're all in this together. It really embodied this blue collar, um, like warrior status in skateboarding where you were really die-hard skateboarder, whether you were good or not. But as long as you had heart, that was kind of who Fallen catered to. I wanted to be on till the very last day, till the very last minute that it was alive, you know? And that was my commitment to, you know, being on the company. I mean, you could kind of just tell, you could already understand what was going on. A lot of other companies were already going down. You could feel, like our uh, warehouse is getting smaller and smaller until they turn into an office and then you're just kind of like okay well you know now we're back at square one and are, are we going to try and build it back up while well, we're just basically getting eaten up by the big big guys you know and uh it was too much of a struggle i think at a certain point obviously we had to give in and we're not able to put up the battle that was at hand when i heard that that fallen wasn't going to pull it anymore I, I wasn't surprised because I had watched it go on for a while, 
Um, but it still was a bummer. It still hurt, you know, uh, my friends being on the brand and then the brand meaning so much to me that, you know, there, there are a few companies throughout time that when they go out, it stings a lot. Almost like the loss of the brand is a blow to all of skateboarding. It's a blow to the fans, it's a blow to, to you that it should just kind of stay around. Whether it's, whether you're on, whether you're wearing it, whatever, it should just kind of stay around. You know, how the skate game goes, that's just part of it, you know, like, you, we gotta deal with a, a bigger picture at hand if we don't, you know, work on ourselves as skateboarders in our community, like supporting each other in, in our businesses and our little small ventures and this and that, we're basically gonna get eaten up by the big guys and then we're gonna have hundreds of pros and ams and just not ever gonna really get what they deserve. But I think I talked to Chad, I think he said Fallen was like thinking about making a comeback and I didn't want to say anything to anybody because it was super premature and this was like, I mean, from right now, probably like a year ago now that he was like saying stuff and I'm like, that would be crazy. I left before Fallen kind of died at Black Box Hill. I left literally out of, out of like pride and happiness. It was just, it was time for, for me to move on. Um, so when Fallen died after I was gone, it was pretty devastating. You know, I knew all the employees and we, obviously we all stay close. I pretty much hired everybody. Seeing something that you love so much die was, it made me sad, you know? And then uh, a lot of people don't get the opportunity to do it again and to do it differently. If I do it the same way and people are like, this isn't Fallen, this isn't what Fallen was. Like, Fallen will never be what it was back then. It's gonna be a different version and it's gonna be a, the, the current version and the future version, but it'll never be what it was because it's impossible to redo that. We just want to create something relatable for the kids, the new up and coming kids, create a core footwear brand that could also speak to the masses and uh, stay true to the roots, but also kind of diving into the future of, of, of what's next in skateboarding footwear.